All right, hello YouTube, it's me Sam, and today um, I have a different thing for you. I got a bike review. Um, I just recently got this bike. It's the Genesis V2100. Um, it is a Walmart bike, but I did manage to find a bike shop near my house that does sell it and assemble it professionally, so I wouldn't have to get it assembled by some random dude at Walmart. Um, retailing at about 160 to 180 dollars, depending on where you buy it. It is a nice mountain bike uh, for the amount you're paying for it. Um, you know, I wasn't looking to spend three hundred dollars on a on a like a extremely good mountain bike from a crazy bike store. So let's get right into it. So first of all, we have the disc brake system in the front. Um, it's only on the front, unfortunately, and I'm thinking about upgrading it to a disc brake in the back also. But in the back, we have the regular brake pad brakes. Um, so this, uh, this mainframe right here is actually black. Uh, that's just the paper. I just didn't take it off yet. Um, and uh, I was able to get that, uh, the old bike, the, the bike shop to um, put nice, pa nice handle grips on it instead of uh, those plain black ones. Uh, I mean, as you can, my house is actually kind of near the, near the main road. So I'm doing this in my driveway. So it's kind of loud, um, but so I did get it re re uh, reattached with um, with rubberized uh, neon colored uh, green handle grips, uh, pretty good. Um, and then of course you got your gears in the back. It's a 21 speed bike. I'm I'm thinking. I think that's what it, the guy told me. Um, so you got your gears there, and this part is actually also not supposed to be there because it's a brand new bike. So. I have not exactly had a chance to remove all the plastic. So there we go. There's another piece of plastic. Gone. I don't really care. Alright, so we got our uh, Shimano, I think that's how you say it, uh, brake system or uh, gear system right here. Uh, pretty standard. Um, I don't know. I don't, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure, like I said before, it's a 21 speed bike. Uh, mountain bike. Um, so as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but the treads are massive on these on this bike. Um, each tread is about that big. You can see um, it's pretty big uh, compared to all the other bikes that I've had. Um, it does make a little bit more noise when you ride because of the treads; they are bigger. Um, and what's what's cool about this bike, in my opinion, is you got this rear rear suspension right here. So under this, of course, there's a spring, but there is a cover on it. So I mean. If you do have that option, uh, if you get it as a box bike, um, box kit bike, you can have that remove, like you can have them uh, leave that off. Um, so that way you can uh, visually see the spring, but I thought that looked a lot cooler as an overall. Um, so I, I was pretty happy with this bike, and of course you get the front shocks right here. Uh, nice, pretty standard. Uh, most bikes most bikes for this price come with the standard uh, shocks in the front, but not many come with the back. So if you're looking at a Schwinn bike as a mountain bike, you wouldn't get the rear suspension on it, but you would get it with the Genesis. Um, for those of you who are wondering uh, why my pedal has metal studs on it, it's because it's not the st uh, stock pedal. Um, I did get uh, metal pedals put on this because uh, I was unhappy with uh, the plastic. Because on my last bike, the plastic literally broke because uh, uh, one of my friends like crashed my bike. So... Um, so I got metal pedals put on it, um, and, uh, yeah, so that is the Genesis V2100, um, and one more quick thing before I go, um, as you can see is I have a gel pad on it for a reason, um, if you take it off, the seat looks kind of cool with the entire bike, um, but the only problem with the seat is, is if you're a guy, and I'm pretty sure most of you that uh, are, well not, that's kind of, it's kind of sexist, but uh, well, if you're a guy and you buy this bike, and even if you're a girl, um, you do have this little ridge that comes up off the seat, um, and that does hurt every time you sit on the seat to ride the bike, so it would catch me, it would catch you in the, in the wrong spots at all times. So, quick solution to that, get a simple gel pad, um, I mean, it, it cushions the it cushions the seat, which uh, results in less impact from uh, if you actually go mountain biking. I've only had a couple days to try this out. I haven't actually got up on the trails yet. Um, 
and uh, really quick we got our uh, shifters right here we didn't uh, I didn't necessarily go over this before I said so uh, before I before um, so of course you got the I got I like these shifters compared to the Schwinn shifters where you got to click right here because my uh, previous shifter literally popped right off and it got really annoying because then it wouldn't shift properly so I got a new bike in the end um, so yeah so you got your uh, to shift up you got to click down I'm not gonna do it because I I'll mess up my back shift down same thing on this side shift up shift down same thing brake levers plastic uh, they're plastic but they're metal uh, coated in plastic so uh, I w when I went to the bike shop to get it assembled I was like you want to put just you want to just put new brake system brake levers on it he's like no nah, it's not worth it because these bikes would last a long time even with these uh, uh, factory um, even with the factory brake levers and for those of you who, who are wondering what the hell this thing is, it's an attachment for my uh, for my light, just in case I decide to bike home uh, during the night. Uh, so that's the end of the review. That's the Genesis V2100 bike. Uh, it's available at Walmart, but uh, I would recommend finding a bike store near you that sells it because uh, Walmart's re uh, installers or assemblers aren't really that reliable. Um, and I did try getting it from them once, but it wasn't worth it because uh, they didn't assemble it right. So uh, I would just uh, I would just uh, get it from a bike shop near you. All right, thank you and.